This next performer uh, is returning to stand-up comedy after a 10-year absence. Please welcome Larry David. Thank you, thank you. I think I'm going to do very well tonight. I really do. <laughs> Feeling just unbelievably confident. Well, that was a bad start. It was a bad start. <laughs> a really stupid start. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, you know, you'll see. Well, you've been, uh, you seem like a very nice audience tonight. I'm wondering, uh, in case I break into some Spanish or French, may I use the familiar two form with you people? <laughs> Instead of Usted, because I think Usted is going to be a little too formal for this crowd. I feel already I've established the kind of rapport that I can, I can jump into the two form with you. That quickly. That, I'm taking a two liberty with you. I'm going to use the two form, and that's it. You can't talk me out of it. You know, Caesar used the two form with Brutus even after Brutus stabbed him. He said, et tu, Brute, and I think that's a little too informal when someone's trying to assassinate you. I think at that point, perhaps Usted, he, he would have been better off. But that's Caesar. That's crazy, wacky, mixed up Julius Caesar. He has a tremendous conviction about what he thinks is funny. And, 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 and at the same time, he, he'll just crush like an egg, like an empty shell. It must have been very, very stressful to have grown up living next door to Jonas Salk's mother, I would imagine. <laughs> you know, you got this woman and... Uh, you know, every day, same thing. Estelle, did I, uh, did I happen to mention uh, that my son Jonas, uh, who your little Stevie never let play in the games or stuck him in right field, who never went out with the girls and wasn't athletic, did I happen to mention that he discovered the cure for polio? My little Jonas! Polio, he's mine! I love him! My Jonas! One thing about uh, Hitler that I admire is that he wouldn't take any shit from magicians, you know? <laughs> Hitler was a big, big fan of magic, and uh, Hitler would go to a, uh, he'd go to a magic club, <clears throat> and he'd watch the show, and, uh, Afterwards, he'd go, he'd go backstage and talk to the magician. He'd go, it, uh, it was a wonderful show, uh, and I was just uh, wondering, I was talking to my friend, where's the rabbit? <laughs> I'm sorry, my Fuhrer. Uh, I'm really glad you enjoyed it, but we're really not allowed to, to tell about the secrets. You know, they're, they're tricks. We're not allowed. Yes, yes, I understand you're not allowed to tell, but just tell me, where's the rabbit? <laughs> Mein Fuhrer, it's a, really, it's a union thing. We just, where is the rabbit? You will tell me where the rabbit is now. The closest I ever came to death is when I masturbated with 104 degree temperature. I was, I had the flu and I was sweating. I, I, I was under the covers. I was, I was shivering. And the sweat was coming down, and, and I, I, I couldn't even raise my arm hardly. And, and all of a sudden, it started like to drip down. And, and I'm, I'm dying here, and the next thing I know, boom, boom, boom. You know, and then, oh my God, I, I thought I was dead. I saw the white light. I started drifting toward the white light, and then there's my uncle going, Oh my God, you're a disgusting animal. What the hell is the matter with you? This is actually a great time for me to cheat on my wife because of that whole Clinton scandal, you know, because she was such a staunch supporter of the guy that, you know, what, what is she going to say? <laughs> I could do whatever I want. Come on. Did Clinton actually think that he was going to get blowjobs from a Jew and uh, get off scot-free? <laughs> what was he going to do? This, the, 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 the guy never got, obviously, was never with a Jew before. He thinks he's going to get blowjobs? Blowjobs! From a Jewish woman! And that's going to be the end of it? No consequences? What, is he crazy? Uh, let me ask you a question. Who do you think has more freedom? The, the married man in America or the single man in communist China? <laughs> I got to go for the single guy in communist China. Come on, no contest, you know. I mean, I'm a married guy in America. I, I, can, I can leave the country, but I can't leave my house, you know. 
They can leave the house, but they can't leave the country. I'll go for that. I like that better. I'm not going to Europe. Where the hell am I going? It's a good thing they didn't have answering machines when they uh, were trying to form posses, you know? Because <laughs> everybody would be screening. You know what I mean? Uh, Larry, uh, this is uh, Sheriff Robbins calling. We're getting a... Uh, we're getting a posse together uh, this afternoon around 2.30. Uh, uh, we're going to meet old by the old red barn. Jeez, uh, we sure appreciate it. <laughs> Sure, appreciate it if you can make this posse. So uh, we're kind of short on guys, and uh, we only got about three or four guys. And shit, we can really use you. You know, we're, we're going to be going after the Fontanato gang and uh, some tough motherfucker boy. And uh, we, uh, you better bring some some warm clothing. It's going to be cold out there. It's colder and shit out there. And uh, we're, we're gonna. We're gonna be gone about oh maybe about six seven days. So uh, you know, stock up and. Uh, that fun out guy, I gotta tell you, once again, they're they're tough, so uh, I sure hope I sure hope you can make it. <laughs> and uh, I hope to see I hope to see you out there. <laughs> then you uh two weeks later you you run into the sheriff in the town. Sheriff! Oh my god! <laughs> what, what what happened? I just I got home at three o'clock, I just missed your message! How'd the posse go? Did it go okay? What happened? Did you catch him? I, I never found out. What happened? Oh, I was so pissed off. I tried. I went over to the Red Barn. Nobody was there. They told me you just left. Oh, shit. What? I'll tell you one thing. If I was ever in a situation like that and the day ever came where I couldn't wipe myself, that's when I called Kevorkian. in. Come on down, Jack. Uh, you know, I need, I need your help. If I'm checking out, bring the injection. And, uh, you know, that's when mercy killing should, uh, should be tolerated. Thanks for getting me this gig. It's been really uh, just delighted with this whole thing. I think we've come to the end of the line here. I know, I know, it's very disappointing to all of you. And me too, me too. But, you know, this is what happens when you run out of nothing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night.